Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Thursday, but today I'm going to do my Friday video because tomorrow I'm supposed to go with my mom somewhere early in the morning. She has a nine o'clock appointment that I'm going to go with her and um, I like to, I just don't want to have to worry about doing this and everything and plus we are getting ready to go to the beach for a week. So um, I need to start, you know, we have bunch of stuff that I have to get out and rewash and get ready to go, bed sheets and stuff like that. So um, I wanted to go ahead and do this today and show you what I got this week. And um, I've got so much good stuff here. So anyway, I will still have it up tomorrow. But um, okay, first of all, Denise sent me this this week. We were talking about a statement lip, I think, last week. Or it was the week that I did... Um, Oh, I know what it was. It was the week that I was wearing that Mary Kay. I think the reason I wasn't feeling that Mary Kay lip gloss that day was because um, I had used a different foundation and it was kind of light. Let me adjust this ring light. There we go. Okay. I think that'll be better. I don't like the way it emphasizes this, but anyway. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, she sent me this lipstick, and it is the By Terry um, Rouge Expert Click Stick, and the color is 18, Be Mine, and it is beautiful. I put it on yesterday before I did my video, but I did not have the nerve. Um, to me, this is one I've got to be feeling real bronzy, and um, I love these when I go to the beach because I think that colors like this look so good with um, sunglasses and your hair up. But anyway, you click out. I love the way it is shaped like that. It's kind of shaped like that Benefit one that I like. So you can go right along the lip line and then you click it to make it come out more, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you, oh my God, it is the most beautiful color. It is like a flower. And I love the finish of it. It's almost like a, I guess it would be a satin. It's kind of like a matte with a sheen. It's just beautiful. So thank you very much to Denise for that. I already, of course, I've already talked to her. Um, I wonder if I have any wipes still left up here. I don't think I do. So, um, go ahead and get that off so it doesn't get on my dress or anything. Okay, and then um, I did order a few things this week. I ordered two eye palettes, and both of them were inspired by my friend Tammy on Instagram. She lives in Florida. I'm going to take the paper off of this one. I just used this one this morning, and it's from two brands that I haven't tried things from before, and this one is from Dose of Colors, and it's called Marvelous Mauves, and this is what I have on today. So I'll show you what I have on, but it is beautiful. I figured it was something different than what I have. And I have on, um, I just have on this color right here, very, very pigmented in the crease and this color on the lid. And let me see, I'll pull you closer. But it's so pretty. It blended so nicely. And um, if I, like if it were nighttime and I really wanted to do, a, you know, a full eye, boy, you could really do some pretty work with those two other colors. It reminds me of, um, it's just a sexy palette. It's kind of like that Too Faced palette, the sexy matte palette or bedroom boudoir palette or something like that. It just has that kind of like a romantic tone to it and they're just really pretty. So I'm happy I got that. That's kind of a good addition. For those of you that like rose palettes and stuff like that, you'll like that. Okay, and then the next one I got is it's from the I Love Sarah High collection. Sorry, I don't know what that who that is, but it's the ColourPop Pressed Powder Palette, and I got the um, Cheeky. And um, one day when Tammy and I were texting back and forth, she had this on her eyes, and I said, "What are, what eyeshadow are you wearing?" And she told me it was this palette. So I got it, and I haven't tried this yet because I just got it yesterday. So let me hold it back so you can see the colors. But this looks like just perfection because that looks like Saddle, MAC Saddle, which is another... MAC Saddle is more warm than soft brown, but I do still wear it. I think I just wore it in the video I did yesterday. And then that would do that same thing on the lid, kind of like Midnight Cowboy would do. And then that gives you a good matte highlight. 
and then you could do that in the crease and it would be just gorgeous. Or use that as liner. Just beautiful. Yeah. I will let you know how this goes and wear it soon. You'll see it on me. Okay. Oh goodness. Okay. Elsie that I told you about on Monday, I believe. She is the one that sent me that really cool, I love, love, love that fresh sugar treatment wand that she sent me where you can kind of, I do it even if my lips don't really need scrubbing. I'll just put that treatment on and kind of just work it into my lips and I just feel like it's wonderful. I love it. And so she also sent me, oh gosh, I didn't even bring it up here because Brooke has used it and it's in my bathroom, but she sent us the full size of the Bath and Body, no, Body Shop um, mask, the um, black one. We've gotten so many of those little sample packets because they don't sell the full size at Ulta, but it is the detox one. I'll put the link down below, but we love it. It's one of our favorite masks ever. I'll turn this down. And um, so she sent us that, and then she sent me this eyeshadow that I have not tried yet. It's called Oasis by Stila, but it looks right up my alley. So I will wear that soon, too. Just a pretty, pretty... I forgot how much I like Stila eyeshadows. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yeah, just a beautiful goldy color. Okay, I will definitely... I might wear that this weekend. That is beautiful and like just so pigmented and buttery. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you so much, Elsie, for that. And then she sent me this lip gloss and she said it's kind of like she knows how much. Here's Chanel. Hey, Chanel. She's going to go over the nail polish, over the couch, She'll probably come across the couch. She's got to do her thing or maybe she's looking for a place to lay down. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is kind of like Buxom Celeste, but without the plumping, and it's in this little clicky pen, and I have already worn it. I think I wore it by itself Monday, and um, I thought today, even though I've got on like more mauve tones, do not be afraid to put a peach over a pink or a mauve tone. To me, they end up being so pretty. So I am going to put, I'm going to just put it with my finger because I don't want to, um, mess that up. Yeah, I don't want to get any other color on here. But it smells so good and it tastes so good. I've already used it and love it. And the name of it is Stila Lip Glaze. And it's got these beautiful sparkles in it. And the color is Kaleidoscope. It's kind of like, um, Mac has one that's like that too that I love. I think Smile might be. It's a dazzle glass. I love those. I always forget about those. I need to get those out. Even though they're sticky, this isn't that sticky, but um, I love it. So thank you so much, Elsie, for all of the goodies that you sent me. You picked some good stuff. Okay, then the next thing that um, I was going to show you is this. I was watching Sylvia L. Bangs, and I think she was doing like her favorites or her latest favorite things, and she showed this brush, and I think the one she had is silver, but Brooke and I saw this one, which is the 50th anniversary in gold, and it's from Olivia Ceramic Ion Supreme, Olivia Garden, and it's one of those brushes that has like the boar hair and the, um, what would those be, nylon bristles, oh my goodness, this thing is heaven. I usually do not even brush out my hair, but since I've been letting it dry naturally at night, I've been curling it, and then a lot of times I'll need to brush it out and maybe go over it a little bit. That's what I did today. Or um, just freshen up the underneath. Anyway, I love this. And last night, I even brushed out my hair wet with it, and it feels just so good on your scalp. I, I think tonight I'm going to um, do maybe like a blowout. I don't know if I'll do it tonight. I might just skip a night. But the next time I do my hair, I might even do a blowout with it because I think this would be a great smoothing brush because it's got those bristles that will pick your hair up good for like good volume, but really smooth out. It's just, you will not regret this brush no matter what your hair looks like, no matter what you do with it. I think even a man would love the feeling of this 
brush on his scalp and that's important to stimulate your scalp it's not hard at all it's not one of those see it has like the little teeny balls on the end so it is not one that's going to make your head um it's not going to hurt you it's just really nice i like it brooke really likes it too I'll probably get another one for her because she's been using it, coming over here and using it and having to take it back to my bathroom. Okay. Woo, I've got something big and major and fabulous to show you that I was sent um, probably about, it was right, it was probably the day after or a couple days after I bought my new hair dryer, the Elkim one that I had been using, and T3 sent me a package with all of their new things in it, and they sent me a new T3. And you guys know I love my T3. The only reason, the only thing I can say even the slightest bit negative about a T3 blow dryer is where the buttons are. Because when I'm blow drying my hair, I accidentally cut off the buttons. Well, this one, I don't know if they listened to that, but I don't know if you can hear that. These buttons are a lot, they have more resistance in them, and I have been using this, and um, I don't know if you can hear all that. These don't do it as much. I have, They haven't done it at all to me. And look at this beautiful, I mean, this thing, it's like the angels sang when I sang when I brought this out of the box. It is gorgeous. So there you ha you have a decision. I think both hair dryers are amazing. I think you would love either one of them. If you like a slower, more steady breeze or whatever flow from your hair dryer, I think this one might be just a little bit more. Um, but it's fabulous. I love it. And I've got the, I always just keep this on it. And, um, with it, they it's the one that comes with this brush, which is amazing. I do my bangs with this. And I actually had these when I did my hair tutorial, but I didn't want to use them because I hadn't used them long enough and I just wanted to do everything together and tell you what I thought. But this is a great one for just picking up and pulling off of your crown or doing, it's the perfect size. I mean, it's a beautiful brush. I'm sure it's like made of all the best stuff. You know how T3 is. Their stuff is just top notch. So I got that and then it gets even better. Okay, you probably saw this behind me, but I got this really cool thing. It is the, okay, here is the package that this wand came in. So it is called Okay, so the main component comes in this. It is called the Twirl. Yes, the Whirl Twirl, and it's got the styling wand with three interchangeable barrels, and they are easy peasy. They just, oh gosh, that scared me because it's still warm from this morning, but um, they just pull right out, and you click them in. You just line up the little things right there, click it in, and this is the one I used this morning, and oh, it just works so nicely. It doesn't feel like it is just making your hair crispy and fried. And I don't know, I feel like it being this white, nice, um, let's see, um, let's read here all about what it's made of. You know, I'm not, um, Goodness gracious. Okay, it comes with this little pad that you can put down on your counter so that it doesn't burn your countertop. And then it's somewhere in one of these boxes. I'm not sure if it's under here. Yes, it comes with a glove that you can use on the hand that you are holding the end of it with or whatever, or that you're wrapping your hair around the barrel with, because sometimes you can accidentally touch your fingers to it and it can burn. I'm pretty used to it, but I really could still probably stand to use that. And then it comes with this nice case to, you know, so many of you travel. My friend Denise travels more than anyone I have ever met. And um, so that would be something good for her too. Okay, what I was gonna do is it tells you everything you know how to work it. it has really easy directions it's auto shut off auto worldwide voltage um i love the flat iron that i have in this line anyway i'm sure i will put down below 
Okay, it says get the look with World Trio, um, and it has the different barrels. One, the tapered barrel, the straight barrel, another straight barrel, the clip, and the other straight. Oh, the two size clip barrels. Okay, so this is the one that I used this morning. This is probably my favorite. Um, and then it comes with this curling iron to use with it. Then it comes with, is that the one that I've already, yeah, that is this one. I've already used that. I used that one day last week. So this is for the polished curls. It's the one and a quarter inch. And then it comes with this wand, which is the one inch clipped barrel. And that is for more defined curls. And then this is what I'm gonna use next to show you the different curls we can do with this. But that one has the, um, like the conical shaped wand. And where did I just see that? I had all the ones that you could do. Anyway, that one is gonna give more beachy waves and then that one is gonna give more curl. And you guys know about all of that. So thank you so much to T3 for sending this to me. And I will do, now that I know you guys um, liked my hair tutorial. Oh, that thing goes in there. This goes over here. Now that I know that you guys didn't mind me doing my hair tutorial in my bathroom and everything, I will do some more hair tutorials using this because this thing, I love it. I used it yesterday just to kind of polish up the ends because after you don't blow dry your hair, then you sleep on it. It does need touching up a little bit more the next day and I loved it and the curls seemed to really last and smooth out my hair too. So um, I won't wrap this around. So let me put this down here and see if I have anything else to show you. I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's it. I did not do a bunch of shopping this week. The weeks have just been flying by and I've been really trying to be better about doing more videos now that I have time and answering more of your comments. I love the interaction and I you know, did my new Facebook, which I'm having to get used to it. Please excuse me if I put anything crazy on my Facebook like, I don't know. I'm certain, I'm just not used to every single thing you post being blasted everywhere. I mean, I should be. But another thing is, you know, I, I've been accepting everybody's friends request and I didn't know that it was kind of like a pickup place too. I've been getting all these like, seems like as soon as I message, hi, sexy, and all these messages and stuff. So I don't know. It's so hard to pick who you you know, approve and who you don't when you're doing YouTube. You know what I mean? So um, that's been funny. It's been funny. But um, because I feel like I'm so, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, so I hope you guys have a great weekend Sorry. to blast you. But I have on this dress. I, um, this is one of my favorite. You guys know this is my favorite slip dress. I've got it on with that Victoria's Secret little bralette. And I actually have on just my black flip flops with it. Um, and I, last night, was looking on um, Instagram. It just came across this picture of Angelina. And it just made me, you know, think about my dress that I love like that. I just love satin stuff like that. And I love this color. Okay, so I hope, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And hopefully I will be back. And I will see you next week. Even though we're staying at the beach, I'll be coming home. We'll all be coming kind of home just to check on. Uh, the cats and stuff like that and some of us you know it's just going to be one of those things so i will see you next week and have a good one bye bye